What's up, everybody? Well, got another gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're gonna finish up Sea of Thieves. We're gonna do it 4K this time. We got it all hooked up to the TV. Made sure the TV's at 60 hertz and all that good stuff. Easy to set up. All the laptop has to do is sit on a board and have a mouse hooked up to it. So pretty easy to set up. So let's go look at some settings, shall we? Now starting off 4K here, just gonna show you that it isn't 4K and on full screen with no V-Sync. All the rest of this stuff I left alone. So last time we'll look at that screen, but we're starting out again, as always, on Recommended, which seems to have a lot of stuff maxed, except for these other things that always stay at Cursed. Anyway, though, let's get into the gameplay, shall we? So starting off here, we're on Recommended, 4K. At least here on the beach, we're in the 80s and 70s. As everything pre caches in, we have, like, a little stutter here and there, but... For the most part, it's being pretty smooth. But I have a feeling once we walk into these woods, we are going to absolutely drop under 60 FPS. Yep, see? 56. Not horrible, though. Would I really notice that without a frame rate counter? Probably not. I would have probably saw it as a minor hiccup at best. But now we're right back above 60. Oh, heck yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how it does, at least on recommended. Interested to see how it'll do maxed out, though. Will it still be as playable? We'll find out, but that's not till the end of the video. We still have plenty of gameplay before then. And see, there's that damn lever I forgot to open last game. If I had just done that, that would have made my life a whole lot easier. I wouldn't have to swim the hell out of there. But at least I wasn't trapped there and have to start the whole process over. Alright, let's just look out here. There's that book. Oh yeah. Such a good view. FPS goes down pretty low around here. All the way down to 48, 49 there for a second. Anyway though, Let's move on. All right, starting off the camera gameplay here with some recommended. We we're definitely already on recommended dropping below 60 here and there, but not too much. There was one point, I think, when we looked over the whole land, it dropped down to like 41 when we were looking all kind of around this area. But I noticed a lot of stuff is on mythical when you're on recommended, so... I uh, not doubt my mind if you just fiddle with the settings, you can get 60 all the time. But I can already tell it's not going to do maxed out at 60. That'll probably be in the high 50s and drop down in the high 30s, I'm guessing. But we'll find out in a little while here. Because we're going to go through all the settings as we usually do. And it's not really using up that much VRAM, 5.5 gigs of VRAM for 4K. That's not too bad. Obviously, this isn't the most graphically intensive game known to man or anything like that, but it still at least looks pretty nice. But all right, why don't we move on to the next setting? All right, now we're going to do Cursed, which should give us a lot of frames because it turns everything to low. All right, so here we are with the cursed gameplay now. And yeah, look at that. Now we're getting about 100 FPS almost, even when we're going through here. That's nice. But everything definitely does look quite a bit softer. And lots of popping. But got to get those frames somehow, so something's got to give, right? Alright, here we are over here in one of the spots for bad FPS. Look right at the waterfall, about 97. Alright. Not too shabby. 
So right at around Legendary, we should start like getting into the iffy FPS, where it might drop under 60 every now and again. At least that's my guess. Alright, moving on. Alright, now we're going to do some cursed camera recorded gameplay here. Which I'm pretty sure is low. Makes perfect sense if we're doing it stuff like, almost like Diablo 2 items, you know, you got your normal items. You only have cursed items, but you got normal, which would be common, rare, legendary. And then instead of mythical, I think we've got like, uh, unique. So I think there are some special sets and stuff. It's been a while since I've played that game, but it seems very similar. Definitely an interesting way to do your uh, graphical setting menu instead of just doing the normal low, high, medium, and what have you. But still pretty straightforward. We went up the ladder. Oh, cool. Now let's move on. On to common. So let's just scroll down here and look at these common settings. And the few that are always cursed no matter what right there. And there we are. Well, here we go with the common setting great gameplay now. already been in there a bunch so let's get back out here into the open open world so we can get a better look at the FPS Yeah, this is a pretty fun game, though. I'll probably start actually playing this a little bit. Well, when I'm not playing Forza 5 and Elden Ring, that is. Still not the best at Elden Ring, but... I think if I keep practicing at it, I can at least get decent enough to actually get somewhere and fight some bosses and stuff. Just too weak yet. And don't know how to jump around and dodge and block and all that yet. Anyway, though. Moving on. So, now let's get started with some common camera recorded gameplay here at 4K. Definitely still extremely playable frame rates here. But we are out on the beach, so let's head on into the woods. Ooh, it seems like this is the trail that really tests the FPS. This all the way up to the... To little bridge with the waterfall next to it. So this is just a great little, like, just a great little test. Probably not the most interesting thing to watch, but at least this shows you how it, how it runs. So, that is the big point of these game videos I make. There's our waterfall over there. There we go. Now we can turn around. So far it seems we're in the 90s. Oh, back up to 100. Cool. Yeah, very good FPS. But, let's move on. Now, on to Rare. So, let's just 
look through these extremely quickly. And on to the gameplay we go. Moving along to the rare gameplay now. Alright, let's go run back over here, next to the entrance to this forest, and then we will move on. And on we move. Let's now get a little bit of some rare camera recording gameplay now. So far, so good. Still very playable FPS. Hasn't dropped under 60 yet, except for when we were on the recommended setting so far, which means me to believe that once we get up to Legendary and Mythical and Max, we're probably going to start having problems. Always hitting 60, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I love how the chickens just go under the water. That looks funny. And alright, we've made it back out to the beach. So with that, let us move on to the next setting. Okay, so let's have a quick look at these legendary settings real quick. And we'll see how it does at that. Because I'm curious if it's legendary or... Mythical, just mythical that gets us to drop under 60, you know? Alright. Legendary gameplay now, and yeah, this is what gets us close to dropping under 60. We hit 60 for a second. But so far we haven't dropped under it yet, but I have a feeling we will. Once we get over to this uh, spot over here. Now, probably not by much, but it'll probably drop down to like 58, 59 or something. Yep, look, there was 59 for a second. 59. Alright, so it dropped down to 59. So if you want to stick with preset, this would probably be the preset to stick with for 4K. Looks great, still runs good, barely ever goes under 60. At least here. Since I haven't gone out on the open seas and have a giant ship and get into big fights or anything, we won't be able to test those FPS, but I doubt it would drop much under 60. Let's move on, though. Moving on into some legendary camera recorded gameplay here, and we definitely dropped down to like 59, 58 a couple of times here. But for the most part, we're staying above 60, even on legendary, but once we hit mythical, we're definitely going to drop under quite often, I think. And then maxed is probably going to be not very good. But we'll see. Maybe it'll surprise me. Maybe it still won't be that much under 60. We'll see. We're almost there, after all. I made it to the top of a rock. And I will now jump off the rock.
And all right, why don't we move on? Let's move on to mythical now. Which means just quickly scrolling through here. Hey, and look at that. It's already time to get into the gameplay. Now we got ourselves some mythical gameplay here. Alright, so far we still just dropped down to 56. Nope, 60 there. For a second I was going to say, what the heck, is somehow mythical, like, less hard to run than legendary? But no. Alright, let's just turn around. Alright, so we lost like 2 FPS, nope, 3 FPS there. We dropped down to 56 for a second one before we dropped down to only 59 there. Alright, let's move on though. Now we're on Mythical. Cam recorded gameplay here, and as you can see we're definitely under 60 a little bit here and there, but... I don't think I'd really notice that much without a frame rate counter. I might no notice like a swift drop from like 70 down to 54 or something like that, but if I'm only getting 58, 59, I'm still going to probably feel like it's pretty smooth. Such a big storm out there. It's a very run down looking ship. But I bet you that's the ship he's gonna have me mess around with. But alright, let us move on to maxing the game out. Well, now we've finally reached the maxed out settings part, so it's going to say custom, but we have maxed every setting we can out. Alright though, let's go see how it performs. Alright, now we're maxed out. So let's just run around here and see what kind of FPS numbers we get. <laughs> There's all the chickens and our lagoon. Staying in the 60s so far. All right, let's just run all the way up to the top. There we go, now we can sit and just have a look at the FPS for a second here. Drop down to 49 for a second there. All right, though, let's move on. Well, all right, last up, we got some maxed out camera recorded gameplay, so I figured we'd start at the worst place for worst FPS that I found. Seems to be right around this general area. It dropped down to 40 at one point, but maybe after caching, it doesn't drop quite that low anymore. But there you go. That's about the worst it'd be on this island anyway. Now, who knows what it'd be once you get out on the sea and get in, like, fire fights with people or whatnot, but... I'm willing to bet as long as you don't play maxed out like this, you'll probably, even at 4K, still stay above 60. And that's why I like computers. You can just mess with stuff till you get the FPS you want. Though, to be honest, since this is not a 4K laptop, some games at 4K you're just not going to be able to play very well at all. 
I'm not sure okay I'm playing on low and then that kind of defeats the whole purpose of 4k 4k is supposed to be all about that eye candy so if you gotta turn settings down just to achieve the just to achieve 60 FPS I mean what's the point then you might as well just drop resolution down to 1440p and crank everything up to max and then still get 60 FPS and a still very good looking picture but those are just my two cents about that whole situation but I do think that is more than good enough, so why don't we just wrap this video on up now? Well, all right, guys, that is a wrap for Sea of Thieves. Did really, really good, even at 4K. We dropped under 60 a little once we got to the higher, hello, Misty, higher settings there, but it still did good. Dropped a little bit, but I wouldn't really notice too much besides that, like, couple of those load times would drop down to like 40. I don't think I'd like that very much, but I doubt that's very, that's going to happen very often, especially if you don't play completely maxed out at 4k. As long as you don't do that, we were in like the 100s most of the time in the high 80s to 90s, all the way up till we hit legendary. Then we started getting into the 60s. Anyway though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and until the next one, peace out guys.